Hey, good morning. Praise the Lord. God is good and he is what? He's worthy to be praised. This is Elder Ray. I'm here to share today's devotion. Man, listen, this word is so good. It's so good. It's so important with the things that are going on today. Amen. The title of today's devotion is Who is Your Enemy? Amen. Some of us like to fight, but we don't know who we're fighting. <laughs> well, we're going to find out today. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, we're not fighting against people made of flesh and blood, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against those mighty powers of darkness who rule this world and against wicked spirits in the heavenly realms. Amen. Amen. See, that's who we're fighting against. You're fighting a spiritual battle. And I know sometimes it's so hard for us not to see our enemy as the person in front of us, but the spirit behind their actions. Amen. See, that's what you have to deal with. We have to deal with the spirit behind their actions. Jesus did this plenty of times. So let's get back to today's devotion. Who is your enemy? When World War I broke out, the war ministry in London dispatched a coded message to one of the British outposts in an inaccessible area of Africa. The message read, War declared! Arrest all enemy aliens in your district. The war ministry received a prompt reply. We have arrested 10 Germans, 6 Belgians, 4 Frenchmen, 2 Italians, 3 Austrians, and an America. Please advise me immediately who we're at war with. Huh? Sounds crazy, but kind of what we do every day. It seems that we don't always know who we're fighting. We quarrel with one another and criticize one another as though our battle is with our brothers and sisters in Christ and not against the forces of the devil. Remember what Jesus said, a kingdom divided against itself can't stand. You understand? So if anything, we can stand on the foundation of, of unity because of Jesus Christ. Amen. We criticize others for the way they talk, for the way they dress and the way they spend their free time. We point out the shortcomings of others because it makes us feel victorious. Amen. In doing these things, we lose sight of who the real enemy is, giving him a foothold in the spiritual battles we fight with him and his minions. We need to understand that our real enemy is the devil and not one another. And we need to realize that Satan is constantly trying to confuse us by making it seem like our brothers and our sisters in Christ are our enemies and by making even the most minor human conflict at work, at church, with our friends, and in our families, like it is the real problem. It's not the real problem. It's him. So what do we do about this? How can we resolve this? How can we make things better and attack the real enemy? Well, the next time you encounter any kind of conflict, pray before you speak or act. Ask God to remind you who the real enemy is. Sometimes we can't see who the enemy is, so we have to go to the Lord and say, Lord, show me who the enemy is. Who am I fighting? What's going on? What am I dealing with? Now, once you ask God who your real enemy is, the next thing you want to do is you want to command Satan and his demons to be quiet. So then after you do that, then you want to see if there is any conflict that's left. Amen? Because I promise you, it won't be any. How many times have you thought negative thoughts and you you pray before you go and encounter the people that you have these issues with and there's no problem at all. Everything turned out beautiful. Everything was wonderful. You know why? Because you prayed and God went before you and he plucked the enemy out of your path. Amen. And what we need to do is we just have to practice that every day. Let's pray. Jesus, give me wisdom to know who the real enemy is. Amen. So I thank you for sharing this devotion and I just pray in the name of Jesus that we will be unified. As the Apostle Paul said, there's one Lord, there's one Spirit, and there's one baptism. Amen? And we are part of the body of Christ. Well, God bless you, and I hope you have a great day, my brother and my sister.